kind of irritates me when people say, oh, because he's having success, and I know the offense, and I don't mean this disrespectful, but it had some a bit archaic in the past where it was play it close to the vest, play defense around the football, win with a field goal 17-14, right? That's been LSU's MO for years, and, and I get it, and they've had success doing it. Times change. Business has changed. Apple phones change. Gasoline changes. You know, the way we drive vehicles changes. Quarterback position evolves as well. And, you know, to me, it, it, it is irritating to me when I hear people say, well, it's the system. Really? So you're telling me I could grab any quarterback from a, from a team that ran a different type of system and plug him in there and who was struggling, and all of a sudden he's going to be the best quarterback in the country? No, no, no. You've got to have some skill. See, I think Joe Burrow's skill set transfers to any offense. And nowadays we're not – it's like basketball in the NBA, Matt. You know this. We really – it's kind of a positionless NBA. You know, we got LeBron who can play four positions. we got Kawhi playing three or four positions. And in football right now, it, 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 it's similar. we got guys that, you know, operating on the West Coast or who we used to call the West Coast or vertical passing game offense or RPO, all these things that, again, people are taking a little bit from all of them and, and applying it. But you better have the Jimmy and the Joe to make the play. And so from last year to this year, watching Joe Burrow, one thing that, that, that we knew he had is toughness. He wasn't going to back down from squat. Secondly was his ability to believe in his arm and throw it on time, but not trust it so much that that arm got him in trouble where he made poor decisions. Because great throwers of the football are powerful arms. With, with their biggest strength will become their biggest weakness because they think they can make every throw. So there's a fine line between the hero syndrome and knowing when to throw it out of bounds. And I just think this one, confidence. Take a look at the quarterbacks who struggled, Baker Mayfield, early in the season. He didn't forget how to play, Matt. The confidence factor, though, he wasn't pulling the trigger. If you look at last year when he was pulling, now you'd say, in the last couple of weeks it's gotten better, but why the hesitancy? And Joe's, even with, with what Joe Brady's done with Joe Burrow, is the ability to anticipate. And, yes, when you expand, now they're playing the whole field. Joe's not limited to a curl-flat combination. Now you got steam, and you got a corner, and then you got option routes in the middle of it, an RPO, where it allows Joe to use the full field and puts defenses in a bind, and that's part of it too. You can call all the great plays you want, and I love Joe Brady, and I don't know how you're going to be able to keep him over the next couple of years mm. because people are going to want him with what he's done. But I got news for you. Stick me with Joe Brady as a quarterback. Joe Brady ain't having the same success he's having with Joe Burrow. You get my point? Yeah, I got you. You better have. <laughs> You better have a guy in Joe's. There's no weakness in Joe Burrow's game. There, there, there is none. So when you go through it and say, well, somebody may have a little bit stronger arm, somebody may be a little bit faster, nobody's tougher, somebody may throw with a tad bit more accuracy. I don't know how, the dies up around 80%. So to me, he's improved at everything, but his anticipation and confidence to know that he's going to have players open is a whole different world where he realizes, and if it's not there in second and eighth, last year, Matt, or the, in the past, what would they have done? You'd have thought, okay, two more downs. If we don't get it on a run, we're going to punt. Mm -hmm. On second and eight now, Joe Burrow's thinking, man, that's not that big a deal, man. I got you. <laughs> we'll get six yards on this one, and then I'll hit you with the steam route for a touchdown. So I am tremendously fascinated. Yeah, he's a system quarterback, all right. He can play in any system.